further assertion reasoning. During acclimatization of plantlets, the ponds are the pods are covered by polythene bags. First, they are grown in a pot containing soil, right? Then they are transferred to some fertilizers. Polythene bags provide low humidity to the plant is wrong. Polythene bags provide high humidity to the plants. So, A is true or is false. So, those are some of the bits from tissue culture. In tissue culture, we read introduction and then preparation of nutrient medium, sterilization of nutrient medium, preparation of explant. Preparation of nutrient medium is MS medium. First, a minimal medium is prepared with all components without plant growth regulators or phytohormones. Then special components are added to them like yeast extract, fruit juices and many other things. So, a nutrient medium is prepared kept in conical flask. Conical flask is closed by non-absorbent cotton which allows only gases but not water and these conical flasks are kept in autoclaves for sterilization. After that they are kept in laminar reflow chambers. Then explant is removed and uh, purified by sodium hypochlorite. Then explant is kept on a medium that is called inoculation which is done in laminar air flow chamber. Then incubation is done at 25 plus or minus 2 degrees centigrade for 3 to 4 weeks An undifferentiated mass of cells is formed called callus. When auxins are added callus produce root system, when cytokines are added callus produce shoot system. Like this plantlets are produced like this tissue culture is conducted. These SCP have highest protein content. The SCP single cell protein, what are single cell protein? Man depending on food, shelter, clothing on plants. In the food, the primary position is taken by carbohydrates, next position is taken by proteins and then fats. So, along with carbohydrates, proteins are very important and nowadays natural sources of proteins like pulses, eggs and many other things are time taking concepts. So, what is done? So many single celled organisms are exploited to produce proteins. The dried cell biomass of many unicellular organisms contain proteins and those proteins are popularly called as single celled proteins and these SCP has highest protein content means bacteria. Bacteria, yeast, algae, fungi all, all are exploited to produce proteins and SCP is highest protein content in the case of bacteria, first option. Algal SCP. Algal single cell proteins are deficient of aromatic amino acids is wrong, basic amino acids is wrong, acidic amino acids is wrong, sulfur containing amino acids cysteine and methionine. So, those two are completely absent in algal SCP. They are deficient of sulfur containing amino acids. This is a filamentous alga, chlorella. Methylophilus, Synodesmus, Spirulina, Chlorella pyrinoidosa, unicellular algae, Methylophilus, Methylotropus is a bacterial SCP, Synodesmus acutus is a fungi or algal member which is not filamentous, Spirulina is a film, Spirulina maxima is the algal member which is widely used in lake chad to produce lot of single cell proteins. So, Chlorella is wrong. Methylophilus methylotropus is bacteria, it is not algae. Synodesmus acutus, not. Spirulina maxima is a filamentous algal member. Algal SAP are not suitable for human consumption because they have. Man can digest any component except cellulose. Chlorophyll also cannot be digested. So, algal SCP are not suitable for human consumption because they have more lipids is wrong, more polysaccharides is wrong. Toxins are not seen in algae but seen in fungi like mycotoxins, bacteria, endotoxins. So, algal SCP are not suitable for human consumption because they have chlorophyll. Because of the presence of chlorophyll, they are not useful in consumption. Algal SCP contain the following amount of proteins. In an algal SCP, the amount of proteins present will be around 60 percent. 60 percent of proteins are found in algal SCP. The advantages of SCP are they contain more protein, less fat and many other components. They can be grown in anywhere in any season, any place, any season they are grown. They are not seasonal, anywhere throughout the year they can be produced and the toxic substances in this will be less, then so many waste material can be recycled by using 
algal SCP or by growing algal SCP. This SCP single cell protein organism grown in sewage water is free from pathogenic organisms. This SCP is grown in sewage water, waste water and free from pathogenic organisms not brevipactum. Brevipactum is a bacterium which gives SCP. Saccharomyces is a unicellular fungi which gives SCP. Spirulina maxima. Spirulina maxima is the single cell protein producing organism which is grown in sewage water and is free from pathogenic organisms. So, spirulina maxima. Arrange the following SCP in a sequence that shows increase in the amount of proteins in them. Arrange the following SCP organisms in a sequence that shows increase in the amount of protein in them. First saccharomyces, protein content is maximum. Then pezilomyces varioti, it is also a fungus. Pezilomyces varioti, then candida utilis, candida utilis and candida lipolytica are two special fungi which are popularly called tarula yeast which are widely used in making soups and sausages during second world war by Germans. They used, they exploited this to produce lot of soups and sausages for nutritious food material by Germans during second world war. So, arrange the following SCP organisms in a sequence that shows increase in the amount of proteins in them. Always Saccharomyces cerevisiae, Becker's yeast, then Pesilomyces varioti, then Candida utilis, finally Brevipactum. Brevipactum is a bacteria with less amount of SCP. So, first is Saccharomyces cerevisiae, Becker's yeast, then Pesilomyces varioti, it is also a fungi, then Candida utilis, it is popularly called Tarula yeast and Brevipactum. Arrange the following organisms in a sequence of bacteria, algae, yeast and fungi. Bacteria, algae, yeast and fungi. First bacteria, Methylophilus methylotropus. So, first option. Methylophilus methylotropus. First option. Algae, Chlorella pyrenoidosa. Chlorella pyrenoidosa is an algal member. So, Methylophilus methylotropus is bacteria. Chlorella pyrenoidosa is algae. Candida utilis is fungi. Candida utilis is not fungi, it is starula yeast. So, Candida utilis is starula yeast, it is also a fungi. And Fusarium moniliformi is fungi. So, Methylophilus methylotropus is bacterium. Chlorella pyrenoidosa is algae. Yeast is also a fungi, but it is asked separately. So, Candida utilis is starula yeast. Fusarium graminearum is a fungi. So, 1, 4, 3, Arrange the following organisms in a sequence that utilize the substrates hydrocarbon, starch, molasses and CO2. Hydrocarbon, starch, molasses and CO2. Arrange the following SCP organisms in a sequence that utilize the substances like hydrocarbons, starch, molasses and CO2. Brevipactum bacterium utilizes hydrocarbons. Brevipactum utilizes hydrocarbons. Fusarium utilizes starch. Fusarium utilizes starch. Candida utilizes candida, tarula yeast utilizes molasses. Candida utilizes candida, lipolytica, candula, candida yeast utilizes molasses and spirulina maxima utilizes carbon dioxide. So, answer is 3. 1. Brevipactum utilizes hydrocarbons. 4. Fusarium utilizes starch. 3. Candida utilis utilizes molasses because yeast grows extensively on molasses and help in fermentation. Then spirulina utilizes carbon dioxide. This is an assertion reasoning. Algal SCP have good amino acid composition. Algal SCP has good amino acid composition. Senedismus is poor in sulfur containing amino acids. Algal SCP have good amino acid combination is almost all, all amino acids, many am good amino acids are found in algal SCP. 
Serendipitous is pure in sulfur containing amino acids. So, both A and R are correct. R is not the correct explanation of A. Both A and R are correct. R is not the correct explanation of A. Assertion. Senodesmus and chlorella are produced in commercial scale in China, Taiwan, Japan, USA. Senodesmus and chlorella are not that produced in a commercial scale in China, Taiwan, Japan, USA. Spirulina is commercially produced is correct. So, A is false, R is true. Spirulina is a filamentous algae. So, spirulina is a filamentous, spirulina maxima is a filamentous algae widely found in Lake Chad and it is exploited to produce lot of SCP protein content. All, all algal SCP are filamentous forms is wrong, chlorella is unicellular. So, spirulina is filamentous algae is correct from which SCP is produced, but all algal SCP are filamentous in nature is wrong. So, A is true or is false. Spirulina is a filamentous algae correct. All algal SCP are filamentous forms are wrong. So, A is true or is false. Tarula yeast has higher protein and carbohydrate ratio. Tarula yeast candida utilis candida lipolytica has higher protein and carbohydrate ratio. Higher protein and carbohydrate ratio is correct. Candida utilis is rich in lysine and tryptophan is correct. Fungi have maximum rich in lysine. Because candida utilis is rich in lysine, tarula yeast does not have higher protein and carbohydrate ratio. So, A is correct, R is correct, but R is not the perfect explanation of A. So, both A and R are correct, R is not the correct explanation of A. Another assertion reasoning. Imbalanced amino acids are present in Baker's yeast. Imbalanced amino acids are present in Baker's yeast is wrong. Baker's yeast is Saccharomyces cerevisiae. It is full of lysine and tryptophan. So, imbalanced amino acids are present in Baker's yeast is wrong. Saccharomyces is rich in B complex vitamins is correct. Imbalanced amino acids are present in Baker's yeast is wrong. Saccharomyces is rich in B complex vitamins is correct. So, A is false or is true. Another assertion reasoning. Saccharomyces is highly suitable as poultry feed. Saccharomyces is highly suitable as poultry feed is correct because it contains many B complex vitamins, many essential amino acids and many other things. So, Baker's yeast is highly useful as poultry feed. It has good balance of amino acids in its proteins. Because it has good balance of amino acids in its proteins, it is highly suitable as poultry feed. So, A and R are correct. R is the correct explanation of A. So, Saccharomyces is highly suitable as poultry feed. Why? It has good balance of amino acids in its proteins. So, A and R are correct. R is the correct explanation of A. It is a three column matching SCP organism types of SCP used as you have to identify the correct options. Spirulina maxima unicellular alga feed and food is wrong. Spirulina maxima is not a unicellular alga, it is a filamentous alga. So, in spirulina maxima unicellular alga food feed and food is okay, correct, but unicellular alga is wrong. Candida utilis yeast food, correct. Candida utilis yeast food is correct. Pezilomyces varioti fungi used as a food is wrong. Pezilomyces varioti fungi used as a food is wrong. Methylophilus methylotrophus it is a bacterium used as a feed is correct. So, spirulina maxima unicellular algae feed and food is wrong. Candida utilis yeast cell food is correct. Pezilomyces varioti fungus food is wrong. Methylophilus methylotropus is a bacterium used as a feed is correct. So, correct combination is 2 and 4. This is another 3 column matching. Type of SCP deficiency of sulfur containing amino acid disadvantage. Algal deficiency of a sulfur containing amino acid is wrong have chlorophyll is disadvantage. Yeast 
Disad deficiency of sulfur containing amino acid is correct. It is not having any disadvantages is correct. Fungal SCP deficiency of sulfur containing amino acid is wrong. Produces endotoxins is wrong. Produces mycotoxins. Bacterial deficiency of sulfur containing amino acid is correct. Cell recovery is very problematic is correct. So, the correct option for this is fourth one, two and four. Yeast deficiency of sulfur containing amino acids is correct and disadvantages are less. Bacterial cell deficiency of sulfur containing amino acids is yes. Cell recovery is problematic is correct. So, answer is two and four. This is a matching. SCP organism amount of proteins, algae, bacteria, saccharomyces, fungi. 80 percent, 32 percent, 58 percent, up to 60 percent, 54 percent. A4 algae up to 60 percent, bacteria 1, 80 percent, saccharomyces 2, 32 percent, fungi 5, 54 percent. So, algae shows up to 60 percent, bacteria shows 80 percent of proteins, saccharomyces shows 58 percent sorry, 32 percent of proteins. Fungi shows around 52 percent of proteins, first option. There is another matching regarding SCP organisms, SCP organism and disadvantage, chlorella, methylophilus, tarula yeast, fusarium. Endotoxins, mycotoxins, high lipid contain deficiency of sulfur containing amino acid and high chlorophyll, A5, chlorella, disadvantage is high chlorophyll. <coughs> Methylophilus 1, endotoxins, any bacteria produce some special dangerous components called endotoxins. Another disadvantage is fungi, fungal and bacterial SCP contain RNA, percentage of RNA is more. Whenever percentage of RNA is more during digestion, urease is formed in larger amounts creates lot of problems. Tarula yeast 4, Deficiency of sulfur containing amino acids, lysine and tryptophan. Tarula yeast is deficiency of sulfur containing amino acids, sulfur containing amino acids, lysine and tryptophan. D2, fusarium. Always fungal SCP produce special dangerous substances called mycotoxins. Another matching regarding SCP. Pezilomyces, fusarium, ketomium, cellulolyticum, saccharomyces cerevisiae. Hydrocarbons, molasses, sulphite liquor, cellulose waste and starch. A3, pezilomyces normally grows, pezilomyces varioti grows on sulphite liquor. B5, fusarium grows maximum on starch. C2, ketomium cellulolyticum grows on molasses, ketomium cellulolyticum grows on molasses. Saccharomyces D4, saccharomyces, so A3, pezilomyces grows on sulphite liquor. B5, fusarium goes on starch, C4, ketomium, cellulose waste, ketomium cellulolyticum grows on ketone, what you call cellulose waste and D2, saccharomyces grows on molasses. So, A3, B5, C4, D2, third option. Now, we entered the last chapter mushroom cultivation. Spawning, gypsum, casing, flush, mushroom harvesting, spawn is spread over the compost, covering the mycelium with pasteurized soil improves final texture of compost, mushroom crop. A2, spawning, spawn is spread over the compost, gypsum, B4, improves the final texture of compost, C3, casing, covering the mycelium with pasteurized soil, flush, mushroom crop is called flush. Immediately after spawning, the compost beds are covered with sterilized layer of compost, sterilized soil, chicken manure, wheat bran. Answer is layer of compost which is called casing, which is called casing. The correct sequence of steps involved in mushroom cultivation are composting, preparation of compost, spawning, making the mycelium to grow extensively on the compost, casing. The mycelium is covered with special pasteurized soil, cropping and canning, second option. In mushroom cultivation, inoculation chamber is used. Inoculation chamber is used for transferring the beds to pasteurized room is wrong. 
for spreading the span over the compost bed is wrong, for casing the beds with pasteurized soil is wrong, for transferring the fungus into sterilized grain or straw is correct. Third option. A good compost should have this character, very light color with high content of ammonia, lack of greasiness is wrong, moisture content 65 to 70 percent and nitrogen content 2.2 percent is wrong, pH between 7 to 7.5 is wrong. A good compost should have this character means light color with high content of ammonia. During mushroom culture, the process of pasteurization is done too. Fungal mycelium during spawn running is wrong. Each crop at button stage is wrong. Production of grain spawn is wrong. Beds of compost before spawning. So, during mushroom culture, the process of pasteurization is done normally to the compost beds of compost before spawning. The mushrooms that produces the spores from basidiocarps belongs to. Whenever there is a club shaped basidium is formed, whenever there is a fruiting body basidiocarp is formed, whenever haploid basidiospores are formed, the mushroom will belongs to basidiomycotina. So, mushrooms that produce spores from basidiocarps belongs to not phycomycotina, ascomycotina, deuteromycotina, they belongs to basidiomycotina. Wrongly matched pair of the following, Amanita virosa destroying angel is correct. Armillariella mellia luminous mushroom is correct which emits light. Volveriella valvesia padistra mushroom is correct. Pluretus sozarkazu is oyster mushroom, it is not shaitek mushroom, shaitek mushroom is lentinus edodis. So, pluretus sozarkazu is oyster mushroom, here it is given as shaitek mushroom, it is wrong. Untrue about nutrition value of mushrooms is? Low carbohydrates and fat content correct, more protein content than vegetables correct, excellent source of vitamin B12 is correct. The wrong is poor mineral composition like calcium, potassium, phosphorus and copper that is wrong. Mushroom cultivation useful because it ideal food for those suffering from hypertension and hyper acidity correct. Provides all the amino acids required for adult human being is correct. Recycling of agricultural waste is correct. So, 1, 2 and 3 all are correct. European temperate mushroom is the popular name of. European mushroom or temperate mushroom is not the popular name of oyster mushroom. Oyster mushroom is Pluretus sojarkazu, padistra mushroom, fly agaric, fly agaric is amanita muscaria. So, white button mushroom, agaricus bisporus is popularly called European mushroom or temperate mushroom. The chemical used in the production of grain spawn, the chemical used in the production of grain spawn, calcium carbonate, sodium carbonate, lime water, sodium chloride, it is not one, it is two, sodium carbonate. Sodium carbonate is added at the rate of 20 grams per kg of grain, then the mushrooms are grown extensively. So, sodium carbonate. Inoculation of spawn on the pasteurized compost is called. Inoculation of spawn means extensive growth of spawn on a pasteurized compost is called spawn running or spawning, not spawn production, not composting or casing. It is spawning, spawn running or spawning. Spawn production is wrong. Composting is preparation of compost and casing is covering the spawn by pasteurized soil. Untrue about agaricus. Basidiomycotina fungus is correct. Spore producing hymenal layer is correct. Hymenium contains basidia, basidia contains basidiospores. Typed fruiting body is correct because the stock is called type. Annulus covers the whole matured fruiting body is wrong. Annulus does not cover the whole fruiting body. Velum, wheel called velum covers the fruiting body, but later the whole fruiting body is not covered. It is an umbrella shape with a pileus showing gills or lamellae on the lower side. Only the remnant of annulus or wheel is present on this type which is called annulus. Spawning gypsum casing flush. Spawning a2, growth of fungus on and in compost bed, gypsum 4, 
improves the final texture of the compost. Casing 3, covering the fungal mycelium with pasteurized soil, flush mushroom crop, first option. Arrange the following stages of mushroom cultivation in a sequence. In a sequence means first in mushroom cultivation, first is spawn, first is spawn production, either grain spawn or straw spawn. So, during mushroom production, first is composting, then is spawning, then is casing, final is cropping. Composting means preparation of compost beds in special trays and boxes. All disintegrated organic matter are made to get disintegrate and produce a compost, highly disintegrated organic matter. Next, the mycelium either grain spawn or straw spawn spread on the compost. The compost grows extensively on all sides that is called spawning or spawn running. After the spawning or spawn running, they are surrounded by special pasteurized soil which is called casing. And finally, when the mushrooms comes to a small button stage, they are gently turned from the head which is called cropping. So, 3, 2, 4, 1. Mushrooms common name, two correct. Lentinus edodis, shaitake mushroom, basodia mycotina is correct. Agaricus european mushroom, asco mycotina is wrong. Auricularia oyster mushroom, basodia mycotina is wrong. Auricularia is not oyster mushroom. Morshella morels, asco mycotina is correct. So, 1 and 4 are correct in this combination. Importance of mushroom, common name, botanical name. Edible mushrooms, Padistra mushroom, Pluretus sozar kazu. Padistra mushroom is not Pluretus sozar kazu. Poisonous mushroom, fly agaric, agaricus bisporus is wrong. Edible mushroom, white button mushroom, agaricus bisporus is correct. Poisonous destroying angel, amanita virosa is correct. Padistra mushroom, Pluretus sozar kazu is wrong. Poisonous fly agaric, agaricus bisporus is wrong. Edible mushroom, white button mushroom, agaricus bisporus is correct. Poisonous mushroom, destroying angel, amanita virosa is correct. So, 3 and 4 are correct. Stage of mushroom temperature to be maintained and method used. Spawn production 25 degrees centigrade, two correct combinations are 1 and 3. Spawn production 25 degrees inoculation. Senedesmus is an algal member. Senedesmus acutus is an algal member which is widely used in the production of mushrooms. So, these are some of the bits regarding mushroom cultivation and other aspects. So, once we discuss about mushroom cultivation, how the life cycle will be? I will write the small life cycle of mushroom cultivation. how mushrooms are produced, this is also very important. First, the life history of mushroom starts with a single cell called basidiospore. Once a basidiospore falls on a suitable place, it germinates and produces a primary monokaryotic mycelium, a primary monokaryotic mycelium. This primary monokaryotic mycelium, this primary monokaryotic mycelium cannot produce fruiting bodies. So, it converts into another mycelium called, this is very important that is why I am discussing, secondary dikaryotic mycelium, every cell showing two nuclei. The conversion of primary monokaryotic mycelium into secondary dikaryotic mycelium is called dikaryotization. Secondary dikaryotic mycelium, dikaryotization. The total secondary dikaryotic mycelium fuses in the soil, completely fuses in the soil to form a root like structure called rhizomorph. All these are important bits. The mass of mycelium present under the soil in mushroom is called rhizomorph. Rhizomorph along with soil, 
along with any material is called spawn. Spawn is treated as seed material of mushrooms. Spawn. From this rhizomer for spawn, first small fruiting bodies comes out surrounded by a special wheel called velum. This stage is called button stage. A small button like fruiting body comes out and this small button like fruiting body shows special gills, but it is surrounded by a special wheel called velum. Now, this gradually becomes actual mushroom. This is mushroom or fruiting body or basidiocarp or fructification. These are various names of fruiting bodies. Mushroom or fruiting body or basidiocarp or fructification. The stalk of the mushroom is popularly called stipe. The expanded portion is called pileus. The fertile regions are called gills or lamellae. The remnant of velum is called annulus. The remnant of velum present on the mushroom, the remnant of velum means this one is called annulus. So, this is how the life history starts from basidiocarp or basidiospore which is haploid. First produces primary monokaryotic mycelium. It cannot produce fruiting body, so becomes secondary dikaryotic mycelium. Secondary dikaryotic mycelium falls in the soil to form a compact mass of mycelium called rhizomorph. Rhizomorph along with soil or any component is called spawn which is seedling material of agaricus or mushroom. First it produces a small button stage with a small button like fruiting body surrounded by a wheel called velum. This, in this stage only mushrooms are harvested. Then it converts into a fruiting body or mushroom or basidiocarp or fructification which shows a small stalk called stipe. Expanded portion called pileus, fertile regions are gills or lamellae and annulus. Now, when you take the LS of gill, every LS of gill shows a central compactly arranged long special parenchyma like cells called trauma. This trauma on both sides shows special pseudo parenchymatous tissue, pseudo parenchymatous tissue called subhymenium. All these are very important bits, subhymenium. The subhymenium followed by special components which contain club shaped structures called that portion called hymenium. So, trauma is the central pseudoparenchymatous zone followed by parenchyma like cell subhymenium then hymenium. In the hymenium, you will find special club shaped structure called basidium. Basidium are intermixed with long sterile unicellular or multicellular special hair like structures called paraphysis. Every basidium gives rise to four basidiospores. Every basidium produces four basidiospores. How? Every basidium is dikaryotic, shows two nuclei, one is plus, the other is minus. Karyogamy takes place. Karyogamy means fusion of nuclei. Both the nuclei fuses to form a syncarion or diploid nucleus. This syncarion undergoes reduction, division or meiosis and produces four haploid nuclei. Basidium produces small outgrowths at its tip called sterigmata and at the tip of this sterigmata the nuclei migrates and converts into basidiospores. So, haploid basidiospores which when fall on suitable place again the same life history takes place. Basidiospore falls on a suitable place produces primary monokaryotic mycelium which by dikaryotization produces secondary dikaryotic mycelium. Secondary dikaryotic mycelium is each nucleus shows two different strains of nuclei plus and minus. 
Presence of dikaryotic cells is a special feature of all ascomyces and basidiomyces. Secondary dikaryotic mycelium completely fuses inside the soil to form a root-like component called rhizomorph. Rhizomorph along with soil is spawn, seedling material, gives rise to button stage at which stage they are harvested. Sometimes they are allowed to grow up to mushroom stage, a small umbrella-like structure. Stalk is called stipe, expanded portion is spileus. Fertile regions are gills or lamellae. Remnant of wheel or velum is annulus. When you take the very popular what you called uh, gills in transverse section, these are also very important. Trauma, subhymenium, hymenium. Basidium are club shaped structures present in the hymenium region. So, this is basidium, club shaped structure. Basidium speciality is it has two nuclei because it is a dikaryotic structure. First step is karyogamy, both the nuclei fuses to form a diploid syncarion. This syncarion undergoes reduction, division and produces four haploid nuclei. Now, the basidium produces small, small stalk like outgrowth called sterigmata. At the tip of the sterigmata, the nuclei migrate and forms small circular structures called haploid basidiospores. The specidial spores get cut from the sterigmata and once fall in a suitable place. Again, when it falls on dead and decaying organic matter, it develops into a primary monokaryotic mycelium. This is the life cycle of a mushroom. So, this is about this is about the program regarding botany. Right from the first chapter, science of botany, scope of botany. We discussed morphology, root, stem, leaf, inflorescence and many other chapters, almost from root to fruit. Then taxonomy, introduction to taxonomy, Malvaceae, Fabaceae, Solanaceae, Liliaceae. Then cell biology, we discussed almost all concepts. Then we discussed about cell biology, after cell biology, cell division and all, we discussed about uh, tissues, tissue systems or anatomy, secondary growth, everything. Then we discussed about ecology and genetics. Then after completing the first year syllabus, in first year out of 40 bits you are sure of getting around 20, 19 to 20 bits in first year, particularly morphology not less than 8 to 10 bits. Then second year plant kingdom, each Spirogera, Rhizopus, Phenaria, Terisicas, 1 bit each. Then microbiology at least 3 bits, viruses and bacteria 2 to 3 bits. Then plant physiology definitely around 8 to 10 bits. Plant physiology definitely around 8 to 10 bits that is starting from water relations ending at vernalization. So many photosynthesis, respiration, matching tabular form, almost all types of models which are asked in the previous years we touched in the chapter. Then we discussed about crop improvement, plant hybridization and other aspects. Then we discussed about biotechnology, genetic engineering, then tissue culture. Mm, single cell protein and mushroom cultivation. Second year also carries around 19 to 20 bits. So, this is a program regarding botany. Hope you all listened these lessons well and performed all the bits also. And above all, after this program, I hope you are all definitely satisfied with the bits what we have supplied to you and the kind of teaching you got from this uh, particular online services. Almost all important aspects are touched and we definitely expect good ranks from our students because they have very sincerely listened the lessons. This program is again extended from June, always in May also, to intermediate courses, IPE because NEET has come, All India entrance exam is there. This program is now extended to NEET program. NEET program also according to schedule, lessons are planned, lessons are taught in the online courses and after that important bits are given in each lesson as assignment and exams are conducted every week and every month like grant S. and total NEET program is done regarding maths, physics, chemistry, botany and geology. And almost all important bits, almost all important aspects are touched in that programs and definitely it is very much useful for all the students because with our experience, we teach the lesson what is there in the textbook. After teaching the lesson, almost all teachers, maths, physics, chemistry, botany, geology teachers go for 25 bits or 20 assignment bits almost every program. 
and after that we prepare the weekly test regarding the syllabus and then grand test regarding the syllabus all are discussed online not only the lessons but also the assignments but also the bits and many other components so i wish you all success for this particular program right from the day 1 to this day almost all chapters are covered almost our program is over and i hope you will all write the neat exam on 5th well and mcet exam also very well so i wish you all success and all the best for all the students and i hope you get very good marks kab is doing lot of is going to do lot of programs for the benefit of neat students iit students and many other students i hope you will all utilize these services which are almost at your doorsteps thank you very much i wish all the success for the students